Hi everyone and welcome to the Mushroom Den. So today I want to share with you my recipe for a very tender and smoky tofu as well as two dishes where they'll be featured in one very creamy peanut sauce and another dish called chicken yasa which originates from Senegal and it's made with a lot of onions and mustard. So for our tofu I'm using extra firm tofu and the first thing we're going to do is press it and extract as much water as possible. Now place the tofu in a dish, place some paper towel on top and just place a heavy object. Here I'm using a grinding stone. We're gonna let the tofu get pressed for about 30 minutes and this is how much water I'm getting out. Put the tofu in a container and freeze for about 4 hours overnight until it's rock solid. Then let it thaw at room temperature or under a bowl of hot water. Next you want to press it one more time, again for about 15 to 20 minutes. And now I'm just going to use a kitchen towel to squeeze out as much water as possible. And the goal here is to dehydrate the tofu so that it can absorb all of the flavor from the marinade we're going to make. Now when you do the press test and there's no water coming out, you know it's ready to marinate. So in a bowl, squeeze out some lemon juice, then add some dark soy sauce, coconut aminos, liquid smoke, some olive oil, some smoked paprika, onion powder, kebab seasoning, and brown sugar. Now we want the marinade to be a bit thicker, so let's adjust the seasoning by adding some more smoked paprika, red pepper flakes, and salt as needed. Now let's go ahead and roughly break the tofu into the marinade. Cover the bowl and shake, shake, shake until every single piece of tofu is well coated with the marinade. Then add some cornstarch and that's what's going to make our tofu super crispy. Shake some more and you can place it in the fridge to set for about 30 minutes for all the seasoning to melt together. Line a baking tray with parchment paper and place in the tofu, leaving space between each piece. Then bake in a preheated oven at 375 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes until the tofu is firm and golden brown. And there you have the meatiest and smokiest tofu ever. As you can see the inside is nice and tender. You can enjoy it by itself, in wraps, salad, or even in a stew, like a peanut sauce. So for our peanut sauce, heat up some olive oil on a saucepan on medium heat, then add in some diced onion. Now you want to saute it until it's nice and translucent. Then add some tomato paste and just try to work it through with the onion as much as possible. Follow with some shiitake mushrooms. Add in some broth to make it easy to work the tomato paste and the mushrooms. Follow with some seasoning. Yeah, I'm adding some salt, some red pepper flakes, optional but I think it adds a nice kick to the dish. Then the main character which is our peanut butter. Now the peanut butter is going to thicken the sauce so you want to add water incrementally until you satisfy with the consistency. So here I'm adding a little bit at a time, mixing it up. Then adding in our baked tofu, stirring and adjusting the seasoning. And just keep adding water until you get the consistency you like. Let it simmer on medium low for about 7 to 10 minutes. And as you can see, it's thickened some more. I like my peanut sauce creamy. Feel free to add more water if you need to. But it's ready. Enjoy that over a bowl of rice. And of course, the first bite is going to be that tofu. Now for our chicken yasa, add in some olive oil on a saucepan on medium heat and add in the onion, a lot of it. And here we're going for sliced onion and not diced onion. And you want to take the time to separate them as much as you can. Then follow with some minced garlic, carrots and shiitake mushroom. And of course our Dijon mustard and lemon juice and add a little bit of water to make it easier to work through everything. Follow with the seasoning, here I'm adding some salt, onion powder, some beautiful peated green olives, our smoky tofu meat, some smoked paprika to balance out the acidity, a few bay leaves, and mix all of that goodness together. 
add in some water or broth. Let it simmer on medium low for about 7 to 10 minutes. And it doesn't get any easier than this. This dish is ready. If you've never had chicken yasa before, I highly, highly recommend this particular version. Serve that over a bowl of rice. As you saw, it was very easy to make. And with that smoked tofu, it tastes amazing. So I hope you found this video helpful. All the recipe information will be listed in the description box below the video. If you have a particular recipe that you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and on to the next video as always. Have a blessed one.